Well, field trips for the upcoming school year may be up in the air as the status of COVID-19 develops. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker joins us live to tell us how Bibb County Schools found a way to give students a different field trip experience without actually being there. It sounds so cool, Pepper. Good morning. Good morning, Aaron. Yes, field trips give students the opportunity to see how the world works outside of their home. And Bibb Schools isn't letting COVID-19 take that away. They figured if they can find a way to teach students remotely, they can use the same technology to give them the field trip experience virtually. We saw on driveway. It was like a circle. It, um, the outside of the doors, it had two doors. And um, when you open up, He'll be wide. Bibb County first grade student Cortez Wilson paints the picture of what he remembers from seeing Thomas Jefferson's house. The house, it comes, it, it like a mansion. Burdell Hunt Elementary School teacher Laria Walker explains why field trips are necessary for their students. Some kids come to us with experience with traveling, seeing things outside of their neighborhood or city, but some of our kids don't. So field trips give them the opportunity to be able to get real world life experiences outside of the norm. Bibb Elementary School students take trips to local museums, the Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta, and even Washington, D.C. But with COVID-19, they're creating those experiences virtually through a Microsoft program. And so you sign up for one, and then whoever is over the field trip, they'll contact you, they'll ask your class demographics so that they can tailor the field trip for your class. So it's not like it's going to be over their head, and it's not going to be too simple to be just right for them. They're able to see museums, habitats, and historical places all over the world, which helps give a deeper understanding of their lesson. They're excited, they're smiling. A lot of them forget to raise their hand because they're so excited, they just want to ask their questions. But it's mostly engagement and excitement. It was cool. Walker says there's really no limit to how many virtual field trips they can take so she can incorporate them in her lessons throughout the year. Definitely a great way to keep students engaged through this digital technology age in the classroom. Reporting live in Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. I agree. That's awesome, Pepper. Thank you for sharing that. I would think I would want to see, I, I think they showed a Coliseum. I would love to go see that on a virtual field trip. <laughs> well, she says students who choose to return to in-person learning or those continuing the remote option will still be able to take part in virtual field trips.